So the first Generation 10 Pokemon leaks have been kind of rumored. A few days ago, Central League said, it's interesting to think that at this point, the Generation 10 region features and most of all new Pokemon designs have already been decided. So if this is true, that means Nintendo, the Pokemon company, whatever, have already begun Generation 10. Like, I don't know if this means they've already started building the game. This definitely does not mean that the game is like already made. Like the game has definitely not been made yet, but they're probably still processing everything. You know, they're, they're probably still trying to get better graphics, probably trying to get better gameplay and everything. This is a really cool tweet if it's true. It's also a little worrisome if it's true because Generation 10 region features and most of the new Pokemon designs have already been decided. This is kind of iffy because I feel like the Pokemon designs in the recent years haven't been great. And I would assume for Generation 10, because you know, 10, they're finally against the double digits of Pokemon um, generations. You would think that all the designs would be like perfect. Not saying that you can't make perfect designs a few years ahead of time, but I feel like they should put in more time to develop everything. You know what I'm saying? Thoroughly build the Pokemon designs, thoroughly come up with cool features, and even like the region. It's cool to see though. I mean, it's cool to think that they've already begun Generation 10 because Generation 10 really isn't too far away from this point, I guess. I mean, we just got Generation 9 a year ago. So Generation 10 is not coming out anytime soon. And somebody replied to this and said, Generation 10 starters leaked when? and Central Leaks tweeted 2025 maybe. So that kind of gives us like a little timestamp as of when we'll get Generation 10 trailers or more in-depth leaks. And then someone right below that commented, that's what I've been saying, Generation 10 in 2025. If the next Pokemon Presents proves me wrong, then oh well, but I highly doubt it'll be announced sooner than February 2025, which I actually agree with. I do not think that they're gonna announce anything before February of 2025, which would probably be the next Pokemon Presents, or not the next, but a Pokemon Presents. Then Central Leaks replied and said, next Pokemon Presents will reveal a new game, but it won't be Generation 10. So maybe that's a new Legends game? That's what I could think. Because I feel like Central Leaks would have said it's just like a random side game, nothing like main. You know what I'm saying? Nothing major. So I think this might be hinting at Generation 5 open world Legend style game, maybe? I hope, honestly, I hope that's what it is. It'd be really cool to get a new Legends game in 2025 or 2024 or something like that. It'd be cool to see that because the next Pokemon Presents is actually going to be in 2024. So probably February of 2024. Hopefully it's a really cool game. I hope it's not something random. Hopefully it's not like Detective Pikachu 3 or something, you know, that no one really is asking for besides like five-year-olds. But I think this is cool to see. Hopefully the designs are good because I did not really like the Generation 9 designs that much. I mean, the starters were okay in my opinion. They're not the worst, but they're definitely not the best. There are a few hidden gems, or really not even hidden gems, just a few gems in the Pokemon Generation 9 lineup. Like some Pokemon look really good. In my opinion, most of them don't look that great. Also guys, really quickly, I'm doing a giveaway for a $20 Nintendo eShop gift card that you can use on your Switch. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is like, subscribe, and comment down below letting me know you wanna be in the giveaway. And then when I hit 10,000 subs, I'm gonna be announcing that giveaway winner. Um, and I also looked at Dusty Go Goat's Twitter, which I actually watch his videos from time to time. I've never looked at his Twitter, but apparently he has a few leaks that he has posted. I'm not exactly sure how reputable these are, but I mean, it seems to kind of line up with central leaks in a way. So he also said that Pokemon Generation 10 features have been finalized by the Game Freak leadership. So as the region, starter Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, and most new Pokemon designs. So I guess the starter Pokemon have already been decided and finalized, legendary Pokemon have been decided and finalized, and most of the new Pokemon designs have been finalized. I wonder how many Pokemon are going to be in this generation. I hope it's a pretty good amount, and I hope the legendary Pokemon are really good too, because that's another thing. I feel like the legendary Pokemon have not been that cool looking in recent years. I don't know. Generation 9 legendaries, in my opinion, are pretty weak. Generation 8 legendaries are pretty weak too, especially the mythical, like Zarud. I can't believe that's a mythical Pokemon. So I'm really hoping that these designs are good because of how early on it seems like they've been finalized. Maybe they've been working on it for years though. Like I don't think we should assume, but that's what my brain goes to because Generation 9 just came out and a lot of people have had negative feedback with Generation 9. Even though I really enjoy Generation 9, the games are super fun. Like debatably some of the most fun Pokemon games to play, but 
as a whole story and gameplay and design, it's not the best, but definitely, but if you're thinking about playing the games, I would still recommend it, of course. Like, I think they're still definitely worth playing. So I hope that because of that negative feedback they've received from Generation 9, that they're going to go all out for Generation 10. And if there's any bad designs, or if a majority of them are bad designs, hopefully they go back and alter some forms, some look of the new Pokemon coming out. And I really hope the legendary Pokemon are just like insane. Like I, we have definitely passed the golden age of cool looking legendary Pokemon. So he tweeted out right under that, the generation starter Pokemon, which once again, I don't know how accurate this leak actually is. Cause I don't know if he's a reputable leaker or not. I've never seen his Twitter before. I just know that he is a pretty big YouTuber. So I'm gonna assume these are pretty legit. Of course, take everything with a grain of salt because nothing is ever confirmed until the game has come out or we got like some official trailers and stuff from the Pokemon company or Nintendo themselves. But he posted a tweet with the emojis of a leaf and what looks like a bat, fire, and a snake, and a water with a cat, I think that is. My screen is a little far away, so I, I think that's a cat. So that'd be cool. A grass-type bat, a fire-type snake, and a water-type cat. I think that's actually really cool in my opinion those starter pokemon actually sound pretty interesting i think i like those typings with the animals honestly and also under that dusty gogot also tweeted february 27 literally just february 27 so i think that's referencing probably the next pokemon presents in february 27th and february of 2024 which is only three months away so i don't know what we're gonna see I'm really hoping for a Pokemon Legends game or some type of cool mainline Pokemon game. Obviously, I do not think we're going to get Generation 10 announced in 2024. I'm going to say it's probably 2025, as Central Leak said, like 2025 maybe, which would probably put the release of Generation 10 roughly 2026, 2027. I mean, maybe 2025, who really knows, but it's probably not going to be. It's probably going to be around 2026, 27. And I'm going to also assume it's going to be on the Switch 2 console. So I think the Switch 2 console might release in 25, 2025. Then probably the next Pokemon Generation 10 will be released 2026, maybe. I feel like that's a pretty solid lineup right there. It's probably going to be a long time until we see more Generation 10 leaks. But this is pretty interesting stuff and pretty big information. But just due to how early these designs have apparently been finalized, I hope they're good. And hopefully they're putting a lot of effort into the gameplay of the game, the animation, the graphics, whatever, the storyline. Hopefully there's no lag. I'd really love to see more effort put into the cities and towns because I feel like every town is so small. You know what I'm saying? I'd like a more in-depth town and just less, less, less lag, less bad gameplay. Maybe a cooler storyline. Go back to like the uh, Gen 5 era of storylines. Honestly, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and enter the giveaway. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.